Long Acres. 50 years running. The Northwest Youth Choir is holding auditions for young men and women aged 14 through 19 with musical experience. Call 329-6478. News 4 brings the news home. Good evening. Four people are dead and five others are injured after a three-car accident in Linwood tonight. The Washington State Patrol says that three of the victims were pronounced dead at the scene. A fourth died after being taken to Harborview Hospital. Five other victims, including two children and three adults, were taken to Stevens Hospital in Edmonds, where their conditions right now range from satisfactory to critical. Police are not releasing the names of the victims, and they are still investigating the cause of that accident. It was the first day of the lowland lake fishing season here in western Washington. The weather was terrific, but that's about all that can be said about the day, according to some fishermen News 4's Roger Gadley talked to. That is a great string of fish, but the gentleman there didn't catch them all himself. Friends caught some of them. Very few people here at Lake Wilderness caught limits today. There were certainly enough hooks in the water. The lake was sometimes wall-to-wall -wall boats. Game officials say the fish population here and at some other lakes is down. Someone has planted bass in the lakes, and bass eat the fingerlings the game department plants. Still, fishermen are a dedicated lot. This man was out on the water with his buddies at 2 this morning. He says it wasn't necessarily a good idea. Nothing bites that early. When do they start biting? About daylight. What did you do between 2 and daylight? Sat out in the boat, froze, cold out there. There must be some place where anglers are catching their limits. By the way, there is a new limit. Instead of the old weight limit, fishermen are now allowed to catch eight fish, no more than three of which can be 14 inches long. I'm Roger Gadley, News 4. Canadian officials are calling it a salmon war that will hurt fishermen in Alaska, Washington, and Oregon. They're referring to Alaska's objections to a new fishing treaty. That treaty was actually negotiated almost four months ago, after years of effort. But U.S. officials have not finalized it because Alaska has elected a new governor in the meantime. But now Canada plans to return to its commercial catch policy of last year. In that catch policy, British Columbia fishermen will be allowed to take more salmon from two groups. One has for Alaska rivers, the other headed for rivers in Washington and Oregon. A Seattle man was one of three who died last night after their fishing vessel sank off the coast of Alaska. He's identified as Wallace McLaughlin of Seattle. The other two men were from Sitka, Alaska. Their ship struck a rock near islands south of Sitka. Three other people did survive the wreck, though. They were picked up by the Coast Guard this morning. We'll be right back in just two minutes with an update on stories in the Northwest. The first bank to bring you banking convenience across the American West now brings you banking convenience across the Pacific because First Interstate Bank is now in Hawaii so you can cash a check or get instant cash almost anywhere from Diamond Head at Waikiki to the beaches of Maui. Isn't that a nice arrangement from First Interstate Bank where banking across the West and now across the Pacific comes with the territory. Looking for a powerful home computer? This is the one. Texas Instruments Home Computer. With 16K memory, it can take you a long way. Want a computer with a lot of software? Oh, yeah, this is the one. The TI Home Computer gives you more of these software cartridges than any computer in the world. The whole world. So, with all the power you have here to run all the power here, this is the one. The Home Computer from Texas Instruments. This is the one. It's a drive to excel. It's a matter of pride. Go and feel when you know what's good for you. Natural whole grain goodness for people who know what's good for them. You're happy and fit. And going for more. Roman meal bread from the people who invented whole grain goodness. Fashion, action, action, fashion at the bottom. Yeah. Nike. Family active wear. For men, it's Hera split leg shorts and Leander crew neck top. For women, it's t-shirts like these over split leg shorts. Definitely Nike. For future Olympians, it's the Leaguer t-shirt matched up with Edge Junior Twill shorts. Next time you get physical, do it to Nike. Fashion, action, action, fashion at the bottom. 
Tomorrow, a group of EPA workers wearing protective suits and rubber gloves will descend on a hazardous waste site in Kent. The workers will be trying to repair the leaky waste containers at the site owned by Western Processing. The EPA is still trying to determine what companies are responsible for the wastes and who will end up paying for it. In its second week, a strike by steelworkers at Jorgensen Steel leads to an ultimatum. Striking boilermakers and machinists have been told if they don't go back to work by Friday, they'll be out of a job. Union members say they're being harassed by the company, and no contract means no work. With one more stop left in his around-the-world voyage, Mark Schrader of Seattle has reached New Zealand. He called us today to let us know he's doing fine, even though his arrival in New Zealand took longer than he expected. Next, Schrader sails for Hawaii, and after that, back home to Seattle. Schrader is trying to raise money for the disabled with his trip around the world. And by Thursday, Tacoma will be a new city, in name at least. The, the city's new nickname will be announced then, and the long-awaited grand opening of the Tacoma Dome will come the same day. Things seem to be looking up for this city after years of jokes about the aroma of Tacoma. Happy birthday, Roz. Well, happy birthday in about mm, 50 minutes from now, anyway. Our world champion figure skater, Roz Sumners, turns 19 on the 18th. She celebrated that and her recently won notoriety as the best of women skaters in Edmonds today. Everyone turned out for her parade. Even Governor Spellman was there, along with two marching bands and a lot of proud neighbors. The parade route has been renamed Roslyn Sumner's Boulevard, so she can never forget this event. And it's unlikely Edmonds will ever forget Roslyn Sumner's. In just two minutes, Rick Meter will join us with the day's sports news.